A local Olympian is breaking barriers for women in the sports industry, and you can say her success has come with a few hits. Jessica Mendoza was criticized for broadcasting a major league baseball playoff game, and now she's proving she belongs right where she is. She didn't play softball her first year. Uh, she played baseball with boys, and she was five or six, I guess. And uh, she had made the all-star team. It started on the baseball field for Camarillo native Jessica Mendoza. Now that her Olympic softball career is over, she's back on the baseball diamond doing the unthinkable. I mean, he was able to locate that fastball so high in the zone. She didn't realize it on that night, but back in October, Mendoza made history, becoming the first woman to call a major league baseball playoff game. I feel a, a pressure and a responsibility. Like, I definitely have to be on my game because it isn't about me. It is about the opportunity for more girls, for more women. But not everyone embraced the moment with open arms. Hey Falcon fans, Mike Bell here from Sports Radio 92. .9. Some backlash came bashing Mendoza with what many say were offensive and sexist tweets. The sexism is real, it's out there, and it's gonna keep coming at me. This Olympian is proving she belongs in the booth, calling Major League Baseball games amongst the men. Raised in Camarillo, Mendoza spent more than half of her life competing on the diamond. At Camarillo High School, she was all CIF. College, no different. At Stanford, she was a four-time All-American and still holds a record in batting average, hits, home runs, slugging percentage, and runs scored. Then came representing Team USA. Jessica won two Olympic medals, silver in Beijing in 2008, and most memorable, winning gold in Athens in 2004. Jessica Mendoza. The Babe Ruth of this tournament. Standing on the podium in Athens, um, having USA across your chest. I mean, you hear the national anthem, something we've all heard a million times, but all of a sudden you hear it, and there's such a sense of pride. And to me, I mean, that's, that is the pinnacle. That's why you play. We were crying. We had tears in our eyes. Both her mom and I were so proud of her. Known for knocking out catchers, strong bat, and big smile, Mendoza decided to officially retire from the game in 2014. It was hard. This is something I had done since I was five, six years old. And here I was at, what, 33? saying goodbye. So that part was hard, but I also felt like, you know, what else is there to do within the game playing? The interest in broadcasting sparked when ESPN started covering softball in the Olympics. And I would be like one of the athletes that they would interview. Like I was basically like grabbing the mic, like so excited, like talking about the game. They're like, you should really think about doing television. Jessica jumped on the opportunity, becoming an analyst for softball and reporter for other sports, including college football, college baseball, and eventually the MLB. Like a couple spring training games. I did hitting segments um, preseason for Sunday Night Baseball. When he's getting that early rhythm, it just says how comfortable he is. And then that kind of led to like a couple more games sprinkled in during the season until all of a sudden 2015 comes along and they're like, let's put you in the booth. The yes came out of my mouth so fast. I mean, it was like, absolutely. On October 6, 2015, the Yankees faced off against the Astros in the American League wild card playoff game. On that night, Mendoza made history, becoming the first female ever to call a nationally televised playoff game. On that same night, tweets came pouring in from Atlanta broadcaster Mike Bell attacking Mendoza's credibility solely because she was a woman. The language was so offensive, we're choosing not to show it. I'm not saying it doesn't affect me. I just don't let it, I don't dig that deep. I think if I were to then read all the tweets, once I start heading down that road, I just stop. Bell was suspended for two weeks from his daily radio show and since apologized to Mendoza. But for Jessica, he's just one of many still questioning a woman's place in sports. It's a serious issue that there are people out there that see women, and some of it came from women, pigeonholed into certain jo like jobs and where they should be. That's wrong. But it's laughable to me that someone can still, in 2016, say, she's a woman, she cannot be here because this is a man's job. I was raised, I was brought up, I was surrounded by people that said, if you're good enough, it doesn't matter your gender. A ton of support also followed, including ESPN. In January, they named Mendoza full-time analyst for Sunday Night Baseball, meaning come baseball season, this Ventura County girl will be the only female providing color commentary from the booth. And it all started on the diamond in the 805. Ventura County is home. I mean, I haven't left besides going to Stanford and when I travel, but um, I'm in Camarillo all the time. Um, I, I love this county.
And Jessica says her greatest achievement in love is being a mother to two boys and a wife. And that's a look at sports and he's a return right after this.